Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, I've got good news on the shortages. Intel finally launches serious 10 nanometer products, Intel CPU prices set to skyrocket, and AMD released a new gaming GPU. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, I finally have some good news for those looking to buy a new GPU. In a recent report from Reuters, Acer's president for Pan Asian Pacific Operations, Andrew Hu, discussed the recent shortages. According to him, the problem first became apparent in the first quarter of last year, though Hu said the supply chain, quote, jumped into action. According to the report, Mr. Hu expected better supply in the second quarter than the first, and expects even better supply by the second half of this year. Now, that somewhat goes against the recent reports expecting shortages in the next year, but that's what he claims they're seeing right now. Fingers crossed that means all regions, but overall, it looks like we can expect a gradual increase in supply throughout the year. Time, as always, will tell. Now, while you wait for GPU prices to finally lower, check out the incredible new free-to-play shooter from today's sponsor, Frag Pro Shooter, the new hero shooter that's made specifically for mobile, and it's actually a ton of fun. The goal is simple. The first to destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible wins. To do that, you've got to strategically build your deck. Luckily, there's a ton of characters to collect with their own unique abilities, like the new Zap Girl. Oh, and make sure to check out my favorite new game type, Payload. Plus, you can fight alongside me by joining my new club, The Meld, when you install the app. So what are you waiting for? Join over 70 million players today with Frag Pro Shooter. And when you click the link in the description, you'll get free rewards, even for those who already installed the game. Next up, Intel has finally launched their first serious 10 nanometer products. That's right, not laptops. I'm talking Intel's new Ice Lake SP Xeon server CPUs. Now, while this is the third gen 10 nanometer Xeon scalable processors, Intel is still using the older 10 nanometer process and Sunny Cove core. With that said, it's still a pretty big jump from last gen. Either way, let's get to the specs. Starting things off, Intel launched a slew of new processors from 8 cores all the way up to 40. They also offer up to 64 PCI Express 4.0 lanes, 20% IPC improvement, 8 channel memory, and a lower price. Of course, all of that is irrelevant if the performance isn't there. And luckily, Anantec did a pretty great review of their best new chip. As you can see, the 8380 gets a significant performance uplift when compared to last gen's 8280. Of course, it does have significantly more cores. When it comes to single-threaded performance, things are pretty close overall, but that's similar to what we saw with Ice Lake's notebook chips. IPC went up, but clocks went down. Of course, performance per watt is more important in servers, and Ice Lake definitely does much better there. Overall, though, we have to remember that the competition is significantly increased, with AMD getting more performance out of a single socket part to Intel's last-gen dual socket. And here, the simple truth is that Intel is still behind by quite a bit. And this can be seen with Intel's marketing focused far less on performance and more on their ecosystem. Don't get me wrong though, Intel's new chips offer a huge leap over last gen, and Anantec couldn't get to certain accelerator workloads that Intel would likely do great in. Overall though, Intel's newest processors are still playing catch up to AMD. Next up for today, while the industry as a whole may get better by the second half of this year, the second quarter isn't looking good for gamers hoping for an Intel CPU. According to a new report from WCCF Tech, who received news that Intel's supply will seriously be affected by the substrate shortages that are currently plaguing the entire industry. According to their source, allocations for Rocket Lake in Q1 were good, and we've obviously seen that with some decent availability during launch. Unfortunately, Intel won't be allocating nearly as many Rocket Lake parts in Q2 due to the substrate shortage. According to Igor's lab, this will likely mean prices will rocket for Rocket Lake CPU- uh, Okay, that was bad. Anyway, that's just great considering the 11900K is already going for over $1000 on Amazon. What's worse is that according to the report, the higher end SKUs will be prioritized, so Intel will make more i9s with the i7 and i5 being mostly affected. Now, WCCF Tech did ask Intel about this, and their response really seemed to suggest the likelihood of this happening. 
Basically, if you're wanting a Rocket Lake CPU or really any Intel CPU since this shortage could drive up sales of 10th gen as well, I jump on it as soon as you can. And lastly for today, AMD has officially launched a new gaming GPU, specifically a Midnight Black version of their reference RX 6800 XT. Video cards originally reported on it today, to which I will say that I wish I could have gotten the information sooner because the new GPU is already sold out. I was only a few minutes late when I looked and hoped to share it, yet it was already gone. Either way, the new GPU was released on AMD.com at 9am Eastern Time. Now, what's really interesting about this launch is that the initial announcement was sent out via AMD to their community members, so it was clearly made for big AMD fans and not miners or scalpers. According to the email, AMD made the card thanks to popular demand, though what's funny is that we've seen an all-black 6800 XT even before the original cards actually launched. It's tough to know whether demand came before or after these were already made. Either way, the card is here now, and it comes with the same specs as the regular RX 6800 XT, as well as the same launch price of $650. US According to AMD, they made a limited supply, but it's unclear if this means a one-off or what. Unfortunately, the launch itself didn't seem to go that well since users were complaining the link in the email wasn't to the actual purchase page. Hopefully AMD will launch more soon, as it's definitely a sweet looking GPU. So while that does it for today, are you liking AMD's newest GPU or are you bummed about those Intel prices? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.